Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss about data wars. That means, what is data wars? Why use data wars? What are the different terminology updates in data wars? Dynamics 365 and data wars? How to integrate data into data wars? How to interact with the tables in a data wars? What is logic and validation? How to maintain the security and developer capabilities? Everything we are going to discuss in this video. If you are new on our channel, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. The very first question comes, what is Microsoft Data Worlds? Well, Data Worlds lets you securely store and manage data that's used by business applications. Data within Data Worlds is stored within set of tables. I'm sure you know what are tables. A table is a set of rows, but formally referred to as records and columns formally referred to as fields and attributes in Data Worlds. Each column in the table is designed to store certain type of data like we do in our databases, for example, name, age, salary, and so on. Dataverse includes a base set of standard tables that cover typical scenarios, but you can also create custom tables specific to your organization and populate them with data by using Power Query. If you are already working on Power BI or Microsoft Excel, then I'm sure you know what is Power Query. Not only that, app makers can then use Power Apps to build rich applications that use this data. On your screen, you can see that Microsoft Power Platform structure. Over here, you have Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. All of them can consume data from Data Wars. Now let's discuss why use Data Wars. Well, Standard and custom tables within Data Wars provides a secure and cloud-based storage option for your data. Tables let you create a business-focused definition of your organization's data for use within your apps. If you are not sure whether tables are your best option, you have to consider these benefits. That means easy to manage, where both the metadata and data are stored in the cloud. You don't need to worry about the details, how they are stored. Number second comes easy to secure. That means data is securely stored so that users can see it only if you grant them access. In my Power BI videos, I have already discussed about row level security and object level security and the same kind of securities you can implement over here. Next comes access your Dynamics 365 data. Data from your Dynamics 365 applications is also stored within Data Wars, allowing you to quickly build apps that you use your Dynamics 365 data and extend your apps with Power Apps. Apart from these, you will also get rich metadata, logic and validation, and productivity tools. If I talk about the rich metadata, that means data types and relationships are used directly within the Power Apps. You can take advantage of this only in Data Wars. Next comes the logic and validation. In this, you define calculated columns, business rules, workflows, business process flows to ensure data quality and drive business processes. Lastly, productivity tools. Tables are available within the add-ins for Microsoft Excel to increase productivity and ensure data accessibility. That means you can increase your productivity while using these productivity tools. Next, we are going to discuss about terminology updates. Responding to customer feedback and data from users' research. Effective from November 2020, Microsoft updating some terminology in data was to be more intuitive and make its use more productive. The terminology updates are listed on your screen and Microsoft is in the process of rolling them out across Microsoft Power Platform. Over here, you should remember that these terminology updates aren't applicable to any APIs or messages in the Dataverse web service. For example, the name of the message create entity request and create attribute request won't change. Next, we are going to discuss about Dynamics 365 and Dataverse. 
Dynamics 365 applications such as Dynamics 365 Sales, Dynamics 365 Customer Service, or Dynamics 365 Talent also use Dataverse to store and secure the data they use. This enables you to build apps by using Power Apps and Dataverse directly against your core business data, which is already used within Dynamics 365 without the need for integration. Now let's discuss about build apps against your Dynamics 365 data. You can build apps quickly against your business data within Power Apps or by using the extensible platform that lets programmatically interact with the data and metadata. Apply business logic, create custom connectors, and integrate with external data. Now comes to the reusable skills across Dynamics 365 and Power Apps. Users who are skilled in Power Apps or Dynamics 365 can now take the advantage of their skills across the Dataverse platform. Creating tables, forms, and charts are now common tasks you perform across applications. That means any developer who has the skills of Power Apps or Dynamics 365 can take advantage of all these. Lastly, we are going to discuss about manage reusable business logic and rules. Well, you can also do it over here. Business rules and logic already defined in your data wash tables are applied to apps created with Power Apps to ensure data consistency, regardless of how your users access the data or which apps they use. Before going further, you should note that finance and operations apps currently require the configuration of data integrator to make your business data from finance and operations app available in data walls. Without that, you cannot do it. Next, we are going to discuss about integrating data into data walls. Well, whenever you have data from different sources, you can integrate that into your data walls. Building an app typically involves data from more than one source, although this can sometimes be done at the application level. There are cases where integrating this data into a common store allows for an easier app building experience and single set of logic to maintain and operate over the data. Dataverse allows data to be integrated from multiple sources into a single store, which can then be used in Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, or Power Virtual Agents, along with the data that's already available from Dynamics 365 applications. So what you can really do over here? Well, the very first comes schedule integration with other systems. That means data that's kept within another application can be regularly synchronized with Dataverse to allow you to take advantage of data from other applications in Power Apps. Secondly, transform and import data using Power Query. Power Query is a great tool to transform your data. If you are using Power BI or Excel, you already know its capabilities. Transforming data when importing into Dataverse can be done through Power Query, a tool commonly used across Excel and Power BI from many online data sources. Not only that, you can even access the on-premise data sources. Lastly, we are going to discuss about one-time import of data. Well, in this case, simple import and export of Excel and CSV files can be used for a one-time or infrequent import of data into Dataverse. In our upcoming videos, we are gonna discuss this in more detail where we are going to discuss about add data to a table in Dataverse by using Power Query. Next, we are going to discuss about interacting with tables. When you, as a developer, develop an app, you can use standard tables, custom tables, or both. Dataverse provides standard tables by default. These are designed in accordance with the best practices to capture the most common concepts and scenarios within an organization. In my upcoming videos, I'm going to discuss about all the different kinds of tables available in Dataverse, but not in this video. Here you can just consider there are two tables, one is standard, another is custom table. You can extend the functionality of standard tables by creating one or more custom tables to store information that's unique to your organization. And how to create that? For that, you have to stay tuned with us for our upcoming videos. Now let's discuss about logic and validation. 
Tables within data walls can take advantage of rich server-side logic and validation to ensure data quality and reduce repetitive code in each app that creates and uses data within the table. And how you can do that? Well, the very first comes the business rule, which validates data across multiple column and tables and provide warning and error messages regardless of app used to create the data. Second is your business process flows. It guides users to ensure they enter data consistently and follow the same steps every time. Business process flows are currently only supported for model-driven apps, not for the Canvas apps in Power Apps. Workflows. Workflows allow you to automate business process without user interaction. And lastly, business logic and code. That supports advanced developer scenarios to extend the application directly through code. Now let's discuss briefly about security. Dataverse has a rich security model to protect the data integrity and privacy for users while promoting efficient data access and collaboration. You can combine business units, role-based security and column-based security to define overall access to information that users have in a Dataverse environment. Lastly, we are going to discuss about developer capabilities. In addition to the features available through the Power Apps portal, Dataverse includes features for developers to programmatically access metadata and data to create tables and business logic, in addition to interacting with the data. In our upcoming videos, we are also going to deep dive into this and where we are going to learn about Dataverse developer. In our upcoming videos, first we are going to discuss about why choose Dataverse, that means how to work with any type of data in a Dataverse, how to import and export data, and how to work with any app. So guys, this was the quick introduction of Dataverse. If you have any question and concern, please don't forget to mention your comment in the comment section and I'll reply you over there. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please connect with us and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the upcoming videos. See you in the next video.